morning welcome back to my channel welcome back to the start of another weekly vlog we are in the car we are on the way to the airport it is not snowing yet and my hopes are high so we will shall see we have another hour and 40 minutes to go before takeoff for the snow to hold off so let's all keep our fingers crossed and let's see how this goes TSA pre check and through the thingy. Almost real. Sweet home for tonight. Best hotel in Palm Springs. Got the nice kitchen in here. Got this little private back patio out here. How cute is that, right? Love it. I got the table here. And here's the bed. Little patio seating outside. That's me. Hi. And here's a nice bathroom. Beautiful. Yay. Hello everybody. I can't hear what these in. It's starting music again. Greetings from Palm Springs. Hello. It's scenic and beautiful. Y'all nothing is going the way that it's supposed to right now. It's a little after four. I'm out on a trail. I cannot get my head into the space. I'm fucking starving. Not hydrated. Doing things wrong. It's not hot and I'm in shade, so like, it's fine. It's not my best idea. Mostly I'm just grumpy. It was a nightmare at the airport getting my car. It took 50, that's five zero minutes to get my car, get in the car, start pulling out of the parking lot, realize the Sirius does not work. I had to go back to the airport, tried to call first, they couldn't do it over the phone. 
had to go back to the airport and had to have them redo it. So that's fixed at least. But I thought I would be starting my afternoon hike at like 2.30. It's four o'clock and I just am like a third of a mile in. It's very beautiful. I can't get my head in the right space. So I'm gonna go I'll show you what's ahead. That's some switchbacks here. And um, this is the Likey Canyon Trail, I believe it's called. It's not where I was trying to go. I was trying to go over there. There's a four mile trail out here with like 600 feet of elevation out and back four miles and it closes at five and I got there at like 10 to five I mean 10, 10 to five 10 to four and I was like 70 minutes to do a four mile trail run should be fine and she was like you only have 40 minutes and I was like it says five and she's like five o'clock is when they tow you you have to be out here by 4 45 and I was like okay but your sign doesn't say that so how was I supposed to know anyway look how beautiful it is I'm gonna get my mind right right now before I go up a further step. This is at least good practice for Heiner, even though I'm like walking this and not running in this, these big steep climbs, so. Oh my goodness. Okay, excuse my breathing because <laughs> I just came up this hill, but I was told if you come around the corner here, it's a pretty view. Let's see, that is a pretty view. Look at that. We got a little further up, we can go over here. Let's do it. All right, let's come around this bend here. Oh, I should have brought some food. Could have had a picnic. Oh, we can see one of the windmill farms from up here. All right, look at that. Well, that's pretty fucking spectacular. All right, let's go all the way here. The mountain's behind us, okay? It's so windy. all of Palm Springs from up here. Pretty cool. So the lady was kind of rude to me, but she did give me a hot tip. It's not as many miles as I was supposed to do, but it's pretty cool. I was like, maybe I'll go in the pool tonight. And then I saw that red and I was like, I'm not gonna go in the pool tonight. <laughs> It's heated though, and over there, that's a heat element outside. I'm going to dinner. Hello, I'm walking to dinner. <sighs> I did my little trail run, and I'm gonna go get a drink, and then go to dinner somewhere nice. Whoa, close the door. But I'm gonna walk because that way I can have a couple drinks. So there's a, a place I'm going, it's called The Reef. It's very dark. I did this last year too. <laughs> I had regrets. Oh man, I gotta get a picture of these palm trees with this fucking moon. Oh my god.
everybody. It is Thursday morning and it's about nine o'clock. I am at the Murray Canyon Trailhead. Um, this is in the um, Indian Canyons area here. So there's three hikes, Palm Canyon, Murray Canyon, and Andreas, and that one's closed. So I'm gonna do this one. They say you might be able to see bighorn sheep. We'll see. And then I might drive up to Palm Canyon because I think you can see a waterfall, like that's a short hike. Um, Victor was like, what time do you wanna leave tomorrow? You don't have to check out at 11. And I was like, okay, so I have um, till noon. So I'm gonna check this out, this hike, see what I see, and then go from there. Look, stream crossing. Can you hear me over how fucking loud this water is? Oh my God, look at it. It's so beautiful. Oh my God. Thank you rains of the past week for making this magic happen. So after I finished my hike, I went back to the hotel, got cleaned up, checked out, and I came over here to downtown Palm Springs to get some lunch, and I went and did a wine tasting here while I was waiting for my table to be ready. Really nice wines. They are a Central Coast winery that has a tasting room only right now in Palm Springs. Highly recommend that if you are waiting for a table at a place like Farm, which did have a little bit of a wait. Uh, very much worth the wait, however. It's super cute. You sit in this little garden area out here. It was just like perfect in the shade, and I don't know, just... Felt like springtime, even though it was January and the food was excellent. So this is a great place to get lunch or brunch when you are in town. So before I headed over to 29 Palms, I wanted to make a stop at the local botanical garden. It is like a teeny tiny little garden on the corner of this road here, but it's so cute. It's not very expensive to visit it. I really recommend checking it out though. They have some great like desert plants here and everything's like really well labeled um, with the names of the plants and the areas and regions where the plants are from, like some really good cacti and some excellent Ocotillo plants, which are my favorite as everybody knows. So. This is a really nice stop. This is um, in here was a little like greenhouse with all these different cacti in it. Just a great little place. It's actually dog friendly as well. If you are local with your, you know, bringing your dog with you. Um, so there were, there was a dog or two that were there visiting as well. And they do have a giant tortoise and a smaller tortoise. And it's a really cute little stop. It just takes like, mm, that was here for maybe 45 minutes or so, but a nice place to stop if you were in Palm Springs.
Hello everybody, it is Thursday night. I am at my Airbnb, which is cute as hell. I thought I took a video of it when I came in and I don't think I did. Um, the lighting is not the best. That's the only complaint that I have so far. I'm about to head out and get some dinner. It's been a really fun day so far. I'm gonna go to this place called Ground Squirrel, which is like a, I think it's like a brewery, but they also have food. Um, I'm getting this like killer headache. I don't know, it's not feeling great. Um, so I just took some Advil, hopefully eating will help. And I'm trying to hydrate. I'm down one of these and I'm like this far into the second one. So I'm getting there. Um, I did a really shit job of hydrating yesterday. So, and I have a run tomorrow morning. So I'm gonna do my long run tomorrow morning before I go pick husband up down in Palm Springs. So um, yeah, that's the update. I'm gonna go and get some dinner right now. And I started watching Big Sky. I have, maybe I shouldn't have started watching this. <laughs> I have uh, thoughts about it. It's very suspenseful, but now I'm like super hooked on it. So I've watched two episodes. I'm gonna go get some food and then come back and finish watching. Not finish watching, it's like three seasons long. I'm gonna keep watching. So I'll show you what I get at the restaurant. Good morning, I'm trying to learn how to use a Chemex coffee thingy. I don't have a fucking clue what I'm doing. It doesn't seem to be going well and I am about to make the worst cup of coffee of my life and I should have just gone to fucking Burger King. <laughs> I am not bougie enough for this hipster stuff here. So we'll see how this goes. I'm watching more Big Sky. Update. It's not the worst coffee I've ever had. I don't think I got the proportions right. I like watched a video and you have to like use a scale and there's no scale here. So I just kind of had to eyeball it, but um, not the worst. So I have my long run today. Um, the lighting in this room is terrible and it makes me look very sickly. So I have nine miles. So it's really like not conducive to go and do a trail in the park because the longest trails are like six miles and those have a lot of elevation gain and I'm really not looking to do a ton of elevation. I think I'm gonna just go it's about quarter after seven. I'm gonna, mm, there is 30 minutes left on this episode. I'm on episode four of Big Sky. Um, I fell asleep during episode three last night and then like, I just kind of slept on the couch last night because I wanted to have the TV on. I don't know why I'm like that when I travel by myself. I always wanna have the TV on and there's no TV in the bedroom. So I just like slept out here. Um, but I just watched like kids movies all night and I didn't have watch them, but like I had like minions on in the background just cause I was like, oh, just some, you know, sound in the background. So this morning I'm watching this next episode of Big Sky and then I'm gonna go to the bakery in town. I think I made a breakfast sandwich because I just realized, I just did the math and I bought a dozen eggs and we each need, we need four eggs a day so that's Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So I should just get a breakfast sandwich today and not cook today and that'll last us. That'll work. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go do that because I need to get bread anyway to make the breakfast tomorrow. So I'm gonna go to the bakery, do that, and then I'm gonna get ready and go. I'm just gonna like run, run up and down until I get to nine miles. Should take me about two hours, I think. Well, loud, rude. There's husband, I picked him up at the airport. We're back down in Palm Springs. We are at Angel Cove. You know, I can't just be somewhere that there's a place to pull on the side of the road and not pull on the side of the road. We can't find the angel. So Angel Cove, so it's supposed to be an angel formation. See this in, in the mountain, but I think we have the wrong lighting because I can't see it. All I see is the sun, but it's pretty, very pretty over here anyway, but uh, no angel to be found. Windmill? 
Market. Best date shake in the desert. Let's see. Is it? Is it? Thoughts? Was it good? Yeah. Did you live up to the hype of me saying, we're going to get date shakes. I mean, I literally only heard of a date shake like 20 minutes ago, but uh, <laughs> yes. Yes. Friday night. We are at the High View Trail. Is that what this is called? High View Nature Trail. Never done this one before. It's up a very steep dirt road and it's a short and sweet hike, which is good because we're running out of daylight, as you can probably see. Uh, it's really chilly up here. It's supposed to have some beautiful views. So we'll see if it lives up to the all trails hike hype. All trails hike hype. everybody it's Saturday morning we are in the park as you saw we're gonna do the Wall Street mine hike which we've not done before it's a short hike it's supposed to have some cool stuff it's already cool check right already cool so here we go
All right, so we're at the Barker Dam now. We connected on the trail here. And the last time I was here, which I was trying to figure out when that was, 2016 maybe? Maybe earlier than that. There was water here. Where those people are walking, that was water. This is wild. Or maybe not quite there, but right next to that. Wow. This is crazy to me. It's beautiful, but it's weird. It's so weird. This being dry. So for some reason, I am obsessed with the Salton Sea and Bombay Beach, and there is this little dive bar here called the Ski Inn, and it is one of my favorite places on earth. And I don't know what it is about the Salton Sea. You have definitely heard me talk about it before on this channel. Um, but I just, the Ski Inn is just such a perfect dive bar, and they have, everybody's so nice who works there. It is the best burgers in the whole wide world and they put these dollar bills up on the wall. You can put your, you know, when you come in, you can make a dollar bill and fill it out. And as you saw, there was ours from 2018 when we were here. Um, but they just recently put this cute little patio, like tiki bar style patio on the back. And that um, top, that umbrella there is actually a satellite dish that they found that someone was getting rid of and they had re, um, refitted it to have palm leaves on it. So. I don't know, I, it is worth the drive. It's a long drive from 29, but it's, I just have to go every single time for that burger right there. And then we walk down to the Bombay beach, like the art uh, ruins area here. Every year when we come out here, there's a little bit less ocean for the Salton Sea. Well, it's not ocean, it's a sea, it's a lake, but um, there's a little bit less water to it every year. And it's very sad, but I just love it here. I don't know what it is. It's a weird, creepy, spooky place. And I am just, my heart, belongs here somehow. Good morning. It's Sunday morning. It's our last full day. We leave tomorrow. Um, I talked husband into trying to go to the um, transmission sculpture this morning to see if we could see sunrise. I don't know, we haven't gotten a good sunrise the last few days. I don't know if there's gonna be one today or not, but I figured we'll try it. So um, we're gonna head over that way now. Good job, babe. You have 29 seconds. Tell whatever you have to do next. I just need to like get this, make sure that it's all saturated with the right colors. Okay. <laughs> Why is this so fucking complicated? Did you reintegrate the coffee? <sighs> Stop asking questions. <laughs> I need to know. Very intense. What was that, babe? Well, I was just saying that, you know, what I really love about this is that they've taken a really simple thing and made it complicated. <laughs> Moment of truth. Oh, look at the color. That's just perfect. It's just, <sighs> that looks like coffee. It's exactly like luck. brown water with a stimulant in it. <laughs> you go ahead. This is a lot of effort to make 
two cups of coffee. Because <laughs> if we want a second cup each, do we have to go through that again? Yep. Oh my. But babe, it's a ritual. I will just go out into the yard on the full moon and keep that as my ritual. Thank you. Nah. Much easier. There may be like one or two grams difference in weight. Okay. Sorry. Oh. Well, amateur. First impressions, is it okay? It tastes fine. Does it taste better than Folgers? <laughs> ah. Not really, huh? Oh. That's a little... I mean, my palate maybe is just not sophisticated enough. Maybe that's what it is. <laughs> we are not hip enough. It's fine. It's fine. It's smooth. Yeah, it is. Good morning, everybody. Sunday morning. It is our final day in the park. Um, so we are going to try to hit three trails today. So we're starting off with the first one. We're going to do the Lucky Boy Loop, which we've never done before. All three of these. No, but there's three trails that we're going to try to do. I've done one of them. Husband's done none of them. Um, you're going to make the right at the stop sign here. It'll save into the park. Uh, so we're going to start with this Lucky Boy Loop. It's supposed to be very scenic. Um, I don't know what to expect weather-wise because we're not in the mountains yet and right now it is very hazy. Um, very sunny but not pretty. But once we get into the mountains, like over the thing here, we might be better. We'll see. Um, yeah, so that's the first hike. We're going to come back to check into our flight for tomorrow, our Southwest flight. And we are going to have lunch and then we're going to try to hit two trails, shorter trails, and then pick up dinner on the west side and come back and eat it. And we're gonna try to go into the park to Stargaze tonight. So that's the plan, the master plan for the whole day. We'll see how much of it gets, gets achieved. Here we are at the start of a loop. It is really fucking windy. I don't know if you can hear the wind yet. Trust me when I say really fucking windy. We're, we're off the trail a little bit. I don't know what this is, but this is a mysterious wall here. Just in the middle of all these beautiful rocks. Oh my god. Good call on this trail, babe. This is an underrated trail, I think. All right, here we come. The Lucky Boy Vista. Netting there, so you can't go in. Hopefully, if you were to fall, but this is like right by the end of the Lucky Boy Vista. Um, this is the Elton Mine. It's not actually marked very well, but it is marked on all trails.
our final hike of the trip. We are in the Hidden Valley Trail here. That's husband. husband. He has to be. It's fucking beautiful, but the wind is fierce. Hello, I'm freezing. It's nighttime. We're in the park and we just were taking dramatic <laughs> photos. We're good. Just making sure it's you and not a serial killer. <laughs> anyway, we're in the park and night sky photography was not really the stuff tonight because the moon is a little too bright. It's about a half moon. I thought we had less moon, but whatever. Um, we got some cool pictures. I will share a couple of them right now, but it was fun writing the word false with the light. Hello everybody, editing a fox from the future. Apparently I never closed out that vlog. Um, we got home at like, 3 a.m. or something ridiculous like that because our flight got delayed. Our flight out of Palm Springs got delayed because the incoming flight that we were getting on got delayed in Las Vegas because of weather, because there was high wind. And so we had plenty of time for a layover. So we got to Denver with lots of time, but then it was snowing in Denver. So we got delayed in Denver on the tarmac for like over an hour. Yeah, so we landed like super late, um, but it was an awesome trip. I, it was just I was like calling it my desert reset because I was like, I just need to get away from Pittsburgh and just get out to the desert and get my mind right and just hike all day and like, I don't know, see the things that I love out there. So it was, um, it was a blast. I'm so glad that we did it. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you are new here. There's lots of travel videos like this if you like to see weird and interesting things out in the desert, especially. <laughs> so please subscribe if you are new here. And as always, take care of yourselves and take care of each other. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you.